Are you looking for homemade chocolate chip cookies that are super soft, ultra fluffy, and easy to make? A chocolate chip cookie recipe that no one will know is secretly made with gluten-free flour. Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com, where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals and a few desserts for your loved ones. And that healthy recipe today is for these gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. A few weeks ago, we had the pleasure of hosting a few awesome guys from the YouTube channel, Yes Theory. If you haven't checked them out already, make sure you pop over there because they are doing some incredible work. One of our really good friends, Alex, actually got the chance to switch lives with a guy named Stefan from Sweden. And one Sunday afternoon, Cole and I and a few of our friends took Stefan out canoeing on Town Lake. And no canoe adventure would be complete without some super tasty food. My fourth cookie. Fourth cookie. <laughs> I'm hooked. No refined sugar. Oh. Gluten free. Yes. The world's greatest cookie. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're ready to get to cookie baking, come on in and let's get started. We'll first start off by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Just like in most baked good recipes, we'll be using two separate bowls to mix together our wet and our dry ingredients. In the first bowl, add one and three fourths cups of flour. A gluten-free one-to-one blend was used here today. With half a cup of coconut sugar, three fourths teaspoon of baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Whisk ingredients until well combined. Now that the dry ingredients are combined, let's move on to preparing the wet ingredients. You'll first add six tablespoons of softened and almost completely melted butter. Or you can use coconut oil if you're vegan or dairy free. With 1 4th cup of smooth peanut butter, almond butter can be used instead. 1 4th cup of pure maple syrup, one egg at room temperature, or you can use one flax egg if you're vegan, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk until ingredients are combined. For this next part, you can either use a handheld mixer a stand mixer, or you can mix it all together by hand with a spatula or a large spoon. Add dry ingredients to wet ingredients and mix until batter is smooth and combined. Stir in 3 fourths cup of chocolate chips and half a cup of coarsely chopped pecans. Feel free to use mini chocolate chips instead of the morsels. You can also use walnuts instead of the pecans or leave the nuts out completely. Mix cookie dough batter until the chips and nuts are well incorporated. Plan a large cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Make sure you use a lighter colored cookie sheet for the best results. Dark colored sheets tend to burn the bottoms of the cookies. Scoop out one and a half tablespoons of cookie dough and leave about one and a half inches of space between each one of the cookies. Repeat until all cookie dough is used. Flatten all of the cookie dough balls slightly by using your hand. It's totally optional, but I always like to add just a few additional chocolate chips and pecans on the top of all the cookies to make them look a little prettier. Our cookies are ready to bake, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them into our preheated 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. You'll know the cookies are done baking when the edges begin to brown slightly. Oh my goodness, these look and smell so, so good. I think my cookie monster side is starting to come out because I wanna devour like all of these cookies. Just look at them, they're perfectly fluffy, like the kind of cookies you'd find at your local bakery. There's chocolate chips and pecans all throughout. And of course, the best way to taste test chocolate chip cookies is with a little bit of milk. Oh yeah, that's perfect now. Gonna just wash that down with a little bit of milk. There's no doubt that I'm going to give myself a sugar coma if I keep all of these cookies in the house. So instead, I'm gonna package some up and bring them to my friends at Utopia Fest. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, a partially eaten cookie. 
Chocolate! I love it! Amazing. Good job. They're like chewy, but cookie. Yeah. They're like chewy, but cookie. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure you check out these other healthy dessert recipes. And don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another nourishing meal or dessert to serve to your loved ones. See you again soon.